people like to argue about whether or not radio is relevant in 2023. And some people don't even argue about it. They just don't even mess with it. Um, I know a lot of people that have very successful careers and they've probably never been on a radio station in their life. Um, how relevant is radio in 2023? It's a market thing. It's a, it's the larger markets that have their own, you know, mostly commercially conglomerate owned radio stations that are all playing the same stuff from the mainstream Nashville labels, you know, yeah, I get it. You know, that, that stuff is like whatever, but these smaller market and medium market stations where they're really involved with their communities and they're involved with venues and they're involved with the artists, those, those stations are where you start. That's where you get on the map. It's not dead. It's not dying. Are the large corporations killing radio yet? Our relevance to that the answer that we're giving you to that question is really where we're coming from in a Texas, Oklahoma, Texas music scene basis. Right. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't even pretend to try to pr project anything we're saying on a national level, but like you don't know the relevance of radio in New Jersey. We it, it, right, right. Yeah. If you think about if you think about this big state of the and you know Oklahoma and all that we live in, think about where a lot of the you know, dance halls and venues mm -hmm. are, they're in smaller markets yeah. or they're in college towns and that sort of thing. I mean, yeah. you know, exactly. And, and, and um, I will also argue that how relevant radio is, is based on how maybe involved, maybe that's not a good word, maybe how passionate, maybe that's a better word, the, a PD is for this how engaged yeah how engaged yeah, there engaged. you go yeah because if you if you have a good radio station i've said this a million times because i'm 1000 percent on the radio is relevant side and i will never not think radio there isn't relevant um but if if a station plays good music i know a lot of people that don't even that live in hayes kansas or lubbock or amarillo or shiner or you know places like that 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 don't even listen to streaming because like the radio station plays yeah, such good music. So good. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, well, you get on Spotify to find new music. And if you have a relevant radio station that's keeping up with the small media markets for what we're all doing in this industry, those are gold. Those, yeah. it, that is a, that is the first step. <laughs> um, so we have Texas radio and we have Americana radio and you have a lot of artists that can be, you know, crossovers. Can you guys name some of the similarities slash differences of the Texas market and the Americana market? What's your What's your opinion on it? I mean, yeah, I think everybody's opinion is different. I mean, artists, I think, seem to be more picky. Right. About... And, and where do you guys see Texas and Americana being in a year or two from sure. now? Are they going to be two completely separate entities or is it starting to just kind of Merch yeah, what, digital do what you need to do but then give the album to radio and let them play what they want to play and yeah, and i and yeah. there are people that say no you can't break an artist like that Just look at behind me charlie crockett yeah you know um he he did just fine dropping an album 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 and letting them it, play whatever they it's want it's interesting because so many of the older program directors in texas are so conditioned to the singles format that when we talk to them about americana or something we say it's an album or ep oriented format but I'm just saying, yeah. It, it's, yeah, the formats are just kind of, they're almost night well, and day difference. Well, I mean, I guess, I, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. I was just well, saying, no, I was no. chiming yeah, in ahead. on this a little bit. You know, I kind of noticed this at Americana Fest. I mean, and I'm not trying to knock any PDs or anything, but they, I think it, once again, it's a generational thing. When I like literally heard an older PD go, well, you know, back in 1972, when I first started, this is what we did. And I'm thinking, well, why don't you start listening to your fans? You know, the fans want to hear something different. And I think that's what's so intriguing about Americana is there's not yeah. as much red tape. Um, yeah. and, you well, know, and I think everybody in this business, all the way from PDs to the musicians, sometimes forget the fans are what pays all of our bills, your bills, right. my bills. Amen. And if yep. you're not, if you're not going to listen to what your fans are listening, you know, you don't want to hear what they have to say. 